Welcome to our channel Wave Entertainment. We are all about documenting South African stories. Please consider subscribing so you can keep making more videos. It also helps our channel to grow. Now, without further ado, let's get started with the video. Dogo Zomluli, professionally known as KO, is a South African rapper, record producer, and businessman. KO was born in Pete Ratif in Pumalanga on the 13th of October 1980. He is the son of Tembisile and Jabulan Mluli. He completed his metric and went to the Val University of Technology where he studied a national diploma in public relations. While in Val University of Technology, KO met his bandmate brothers Izzy, Ma'i Hanabe and Buntu aka Ntugza Hanabe. He completed his studies and graduated with a public relations management national diploma from the Val University of Technology. Initially, he struggled to find employment. According to a Sowetan article, he spent two years unemployed before his mother sent his CV to the South African police services, but he never followed up. I was trying to make demos with the funding from my parents, and they believed in my dream, but I eventually started giving up. My mother sent my CV to the SAPS, but I did not go for the interview. The day of the interview, I knew I was struggling, but I couldn't go through with it, KO quoted in the Sowetan. KO eventually went on to work in the field of his studies with the dream of becoming a musician. In 2005, while employed in the public relations sector, KO and brothers from Soweto, Tugza and Ma'i decided to form a hip-hop group called Tiagas. We realized it would be better to join since we were already good friends who knew each other's rhyming style, KO quoted by the City Press. In 2005, Tiagas signed a recording deal with Electro Mode. In 2006, they released their debut studio album, Kushubile Kubovu. The album was a smash hit and a runaway success. The 15-track album featured a timeless smash hit titled Chance. Chance was a hip-hop chronicle life of a township gangster seeking redemption. Cash Time Life was also founded in 2006 by KO and Ma'i after TKS released their first studio album. The company was a music publishing, entertainment management and a record company. They each held 50-50 on the business. The group released their second studio album, Wafa Wafa, in 2008. In the 16-track album, the group worked with Bongo Riot on two songs, Champion and Sunshine. In 2009, they released their third studio album, Darko Blue. In the 13-track album, Tia Guest collaborated with Tamasha on a song titled Life and tagged along DJ Tira on a song called Party 101. Double HP and PRO also delivered verses on Goodfellas. In 2012, Tia Guest released their fourth studio album, Number Number. In the 15-track album, they worked with Two-Face on Turning Tables, Lily Million on Forgive Me, Toya Delazy on Paradise, and Zion on Put You On. Following Tia Guest's departure, KO pursued his solo career under Cash Time Life. He signed AP Crazy, Kid X, and Smashes, who is now known as Zenga or Buddha Team. They released the singles Shut It Down, Standy, and Goodbye in 2013. Cash Time Life later added DJ Vigilante, Mugs, Muesli, and Masandi on his roster. In March 2014, he released a single from his album, Karakara and went on even bigger success, reaching 1 million views on YouTube and broke the record for most views of a South African hip-hop video at the time. Karakara would then become the first South African hip-hop song to win Record of the Year at the annual South African Music Awards. Karakara was also nominated for Best Hip-Hop Album and Best Male Album at the 14th Annual Metro FM Awards. KO won the MTV Base MC of the Year panel decided for the Crown of the Year in 2014. During the same year, KO was featured on AKA's hit single, Run Josie. The verse by KO would go down as one of the greatest verses in South African hip-hop history. In July 2017, KO signed a partnership and distribution deal with Sony Music Entertainment. 
he announced a single in his new album coming up later the same year. He released the single No Feelings on 21st July. The production of the song was handled by Hilton Brooker and Gemini Major. The song was certified platinum with sales over 25,000. His single Don't Dada featuring OK Maluk Kulkat was released in October of the same year. KO went on to release his sophomore album Skanda Republic 2 styled as SR2 in October 2017. Although the album was brilliant and good, fans and the industry turned a blind eye. SR2 then became a part confessional hymnal delivered in a rap tradition decorated in metaphors and similes to draw the intensity of pain he'd experienced. His introspection process reveals itself on songs like 7 Up and Mission Statement 2. He says that SR2 was him looking in the review mirror on some, alright, cool, we are aware of what happened. He acknowledges the hurt, adding that it gave him a lot of heart. In 2018, he established Skanda World with Ma'i, a clothing brand and a record label. His first signee became Loki. Roy followed and DJ Mr. X. In March 2019, his single Super Duper was released as the album lead single. The song was certified two times gold with sales of 20,000. Super Duper was the only South African hip hop song to receive a gold plaque in the year of 2019. Say You Will featuring Nandi Matita was released as the second single. He went on to follow up with his third studio album, PTY Unlimited, in the same year. PTY Unlimited became an instant classic. The album seemed impossible to top for KOSR2, which was a sequel to his first album. As a result, Skanda God worked hard to regain his position at the top of South African hip hop food chain. On the album, KO sounds both hungry and comfortable. The album consisted of a great balance of aggressive, street centric bangers and the heartfelt love songs. During 2020, KO's Kanda World signed a then booming artist, Just Beggy. In September 2021, he announced his fourth studio album, Skanda Republic 3, and released a single called Playback on the 15th of October. The second single, Emoyen, was released on March 21, 2022. The latter is followed up by a freestyle titled Scandaville Freestyle on the 25th of July 2022 as a single to the upcoming album and as a follow-up to the No Fear Freestyle. In August 2022, KO released his biggest hit after Karakara, which features Blakey and Young Stana named Sete and is on the third installment of Skana Republic. Sete reached a whopping 10 million views on YouTube in just a month. It held the number one spot on Radio Monitor Airplay charts for at least seven weeks. Sete spent 64 days at the top of South African songs on Spotify charts. Sete was certified platinum by the recording industry of South Africa in just 16 days of its release, making it the most successful South African hip-hop song of all time. In March 2023, KO revealed that Sete have generated 81 million streams across all digital music stores. On 20 August 2022, rapper Big Zulu released a diss track aimed at KO and other renowned South African rappers. A diss track response was dropped by KO titled Omega Freestyle. Tracklist and art cover for Skanda Republic 3 was unveiled on Instagram including the name of the features. Java, Msaki, Zuma, Sakodi, Papi Cooper all made the cut to the album. The album debuted number one on Spotify weekly South African charts. It became the first album by South African hip-hop artist to debut at number one on the list. Lunatic, the beatsmith behind the production of KO's era-defining solo debut album Skanda Republic and who by default helped pioneer the township culture and quite embedded Skanda rap sound made a return on Skanda Republic 3. On February 2023, KO announced the release of a song called Focus 23. 
The track takes shots at ama piano artist Lady Do, who predicted that Sete would not get certified gold, which eventually went platinum and almost diamond. Drama with former bandmate Ntugza was also mentioned. The Sete hitmaker addressed the fact that there would be no any union of tear gas. Skanda World and Universal Music released a joint statement that announced Ma'i, Mr. X and Just Becky are parting ways with the joint labels. The announcement follows a joint labels meeting where it was agreed that the artists would be relieved of their contractual commitments to the labels. Rappers Loki and Roy are the remaining artists at Skanda World currently. After 17 years, the legendary South African MC's pen and musicianship remain sharp as ever. Since bursting into the scene as a member of Tear Gas in 2006, KO has been consistently spitting at the highest level. The rapper remains peerless when you consider or try to pit him against other MC's from his era. Thanks for watching this video. If you have enjoyed, make sure you subscribe and like the video so we can keep making more videos. It also helps our channel to grow. See you on the next one.